people. We'll give one more minute for people to arrive. Um, I wanted to do a belly dance uh, yoga, belly dance fusion for Earth Day to honor the, the divine mother, Gaia, Mother Earth, and um, to channel and awaken that within ourselves. I find a lot of connection between Mother Earth and, and women in, on this world and just how um, yeah, so anyways, how we're all connected and, and how this is the, the, the mother for, for all. Doesn't matter who your parents were, you're here on earth and she wants you here. So, so as soon as everyone's ready in a comfortable seated position, we're just going to tune in to how you're connected, um, to the earth or to your seat, through your sits bones, through your feet. <laughs> so we're just aligning our posture. Hello, good morning, welcome everybody. Happy Earth Day. Let's tune into ourselves. Let's bring that string up through the crown of the head, connecting to higher source and lengthening the spine up through that point. Bringing the shoulders up to our ears and rolling them back down into their sockets. Nice long neck. Inhaling through the nose. Big deep inhale into the lower dantian. If you would like to make a bowl shape with your hands and place it in your lap, you can visualize the breath going and filling that bowl. So deep breath. Visualize nice, clean air coming in. And on the exhale, completely empty that bowl. Just push it all out, blowing through the mouth. And bring your awareness to the bottom of that bowl here in the, in the lower Dantian area, from under the belly button to the pelvis, breathing in. And on the next inhale, we're gonna slowly raise the arms out to the side. On the exhale, push through the palm and straighten. I don't know if you can see me. Pushing actively through the palms, fingertips to the ceiling. Let's wake up our arms. Inhale, lift them up overhead. Smooth it out, bring the fingertips together at the top. Big inhale, opening the shoulders. Exhale here, feel the shoulders melting down the back body, opening the chest. Take a breath, neck nice and long. And on the next exhale, push through the palms and round down again. Resting the hands in the lap, creating that bowl, and breathe into that bowl. Deep breaths through the nose, elongating the spine, and tuning into our bodies. Deep into the lower Dantian. Again, inhale, lift the arms and actively push out through the palms. Stretch, open the chest. Make sure the shoulders aren't raising. Inhale, push the shoulders down, lift the arms up overhead. Open the chest again, open the armpits. 
and exhale, round out, smooth out the sides as you come down. And rest your palms in your lap, breathe into your bowl. I'll invite anyone as long as your volume's up to play some nice instrumental Middle Eastern music if you'd like to or any music. I will not be having music on this end, but if you, if that helps you, otherwise just tune into the breath. I've studied a couple different forms of um, Asian style dance, such as um, Bharat Natyam, and I find that um, they use parts of the body that we don't usually use, and they use all, all parts of the body. So in that way, I find it's very yogic. There's a lot of great asanas and dance. So while we sit here, we're gonna experiment. They use their eyes sometimes and move and add to um, accentuate the movements. So they move their eyes. So open your eyes soft and we're just going to stretch our eyes a little bit, looking up towards the ceiling. Inhale, and then on the exhale, smooth out and around as you go in a circle clockwise, as far as you can see to the right and down and to the left. Just make a big circle with your eyes. Inhaling at the top and then going the other direction on the exhale. Just smoothing it out. We'll do one more circle on each side. Opening wide, stretching those eyes. Keep breathing. And then we can do the exercise where we just look completely to the right for a breath, and then on the next breath, look left. Try to keep your body, your head still, you're just moving your eyes. And then you can look up and then down. So right, left, up and down. And then we'll go the other way, left, right, down and up. And then close the eyes, tune back into the breath, or have a soft gaze, relax. Flip the palms, we're gonna place them either on the top of your knees if you're sitting in the chair, or if you're sitting pretzel, you can hold on to your shins. We're gonna inhale, scooping with the chest, come forward, bringing the shoulder blades together. And then rounding at the top, exhale, round down. Excuse me, inhale, scooping up. At the top, you're lifting, lifting the chin, opening the front of the neck, opening the heart. And then at the back, you're rounding down. And just go at your own breast pace. We're doing like a nice big undulation here, waking up our spine. <sighs> and just go to your maximum, really bring those shoulder blades together and then really open them up by rounding. Inhaling as you open the chest. Exhaling as you're rounding down. And if you're sitting in a chair, you can make these movements subtle as well. You can just simply inhale, bringing the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, rounding the back, bringing the belly button to the back of the spine, pushing out all that stale air. Inhale, opening up the shoulder blades and the chest. And the front body, exhale, opening up the back body. Tuning into your own breast pace.
mind coming back to a straight spine. Let's just warm up the neck. We're gonna drop the chin to the chest. And slowly roll the neck, keeping the shoulders down. Bring one ear to one shoulder, but keeping that shoulder down. And if you wanna just roll it in the front, you can go from front shoulder to shoulder. Or if you wanna open up and roll the head back, just move slow. Open the front of the neck, lift with the chest as you go back. Try not to collapse the neck in the back. Keep it pretty open as you go around. Make sure to go the other direction. slowly making your way back to center. Flipping the palms again to place on top of the knees. We are going to focus on our rib cage isolations. So inhale, um, we're, again, we're gonna bring our chest to the front, bringing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, slide it to the right. Try to slide your rib cage over to the right. Take a breath here. Inhale, feel your um, expanding under the rib cage. And then exhale, bring it back. Rounding the shoulders. Inhale here, and on the exhale, we'll shift to the left bringing your spine back in neutral, and then shifting to the side. Take a breath here, expand. Exhale, bring it to the front. Open the chest and bring the rib cage forward. Take a breath, expand the diaphragm. Exhale, to the right. And we'll just take a breath at each position. I like to move on the exhales, but you might find yourself moving different, which is totally fine. Just keep breathing. And we're just kind of making a box here. So forward, come back to center before you go to the side. Let's try that. There's a couple different ways we're gonna do it. So you can go back, center, side, center, front, Center, side, center. Really, it's in the uh, shoulders, but they're staying down. And then the um, rib cage is what you're focusing on here. And when you're ready to switch directions, we'll go from a side and then go back the other way. Switch up your direction here. So just kind of touching each side and coming back to center this way. Next time you come forward, you can try to smooth it out, making a big circle. Come forward, switch up your direction, go the other way. After you get a couple circles in each side. You're welcome to let the head go with it. If just let the head follow your circle. Loosening up that spine. Big, beautiful circle. And slowly making your way back to center. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, let's make that bowl again with our hands. Connect through your sits bones. Connect to that straight line coming 
up through the center of the earth, through your feet or your sits bones, up the spine and out the crown of the head. Deep breaths. We're all channeling Earth's energy this way. On the next inhale, raise the arms, starting with the elbows, raise. Fingers with tips come up last, but they come up all the way to the ceiling as we push and extend the arms and push out through the palms. Hold the arms here and breathe, strengthening, opening. Shooting that energy out your palms. This time on the exhale, we're gonna smooth out and bring them to the front of us, in front of our face, pushing them through the palms. And here we can practice with some hand mudras. If you bend the ring finger, feel that stretch through your hands, through the wrists through your fingers. This is a mudra. I'm spacing out the name, but I'll write it down afterwards in Facebook. <laughs> and then opening up uh, that finger, just go ahead and, and experiment with that. Just bend the pinky finger now, keeping it straight, the first knuckle straight, and then bend at the second finger. And we'll just go through each fingers like, like that. It's kind of a challenge. So pinky, straighten, ring finger, straighten. Don't forget to breathe. Middle finger. Feel the stretch and the different muscles that are activating in the hands. Pointer finger. Deep breath, and then you can also pinch these to the index and the pointer with the thumb, extending the pinky and the ring out wide. Inhale, pull, you're pinching and pulling that in right here at the sternum. Hold it, open those armpits, exhale. Like you're making a T with your forearms and your spine. Inhale, lift the hands to a, a 90 degree. Breathe. And inhale again, extend out to the side. Exhale. Inhale, bring them together above the head. Bend the elbows and make a nice frame to your head. Shoulders are down. Exhale, hold. And then like you have a P in between your fingers and you're just gonna circle around it, make a little swirl as you come down. Exhale, like a falling leaf and rest in your lap again, create your bowl. Deep breath into the bowl. Exhale, blow it all out like the wind. One more time, we're gonna raise the arms with the elbows, start lifting first, inhale, exhale, push out through the palms. Inhale, this time just round up, touch the fingers above the head. Inhale, big, open those armpits. Exhale, flip the palms and come float them down. Front of the face as you blow out with the exhale. Coming down, we'll just do that one more time. Lift you in the elbows, inhale. Exhale, push out through the palms. Inhale, coming up above the head. Biggest breath here, big inhale, flip it and exhale, steady and slow, lower those palms. 
Feel your muscles in your chest, in the back, holding those shoulders down. And then relax. Now, if you're sitting on the floor, we're gonna open up our, our legs here to straddle. And if you're in a chair as well, you can just open your hips kind of pulling on your knees just to open and stretch out the groin, connecting still through your sits bones, make sure you're flat and connected here. If you feel like you're rounding back in the lower back, you might wanna grab a blanket or something to sit up on. Roll it under and sit and roll those sits bones forward. Everyone gets comfy, I'll grab a blanket as well. And if you are sitting on a blanket, just sit at the front edge and roll those sits bones forward, kind of off the blanket to help your spine nice and straight from the base. From the lower back area here, just visualize the vertebrae stacking up on each other, nice and straight. You might need to engage the abs a little bit to hold yourself up as the shoulders are melting down. We're gonna inhale, lift the right arm up overhead. Left arm is crossed in front of the lap and open that right side. Inhaling and breathing into this right side body. Go over to the left as far as you'd like on the exhale. Take a couple breaths here. Stretching that right side. Just see where you're at today. Opening just over the head, slightly leaning. Could be a big enough stretch. Start small so you make sure you're in proper alignment and that you're not collapsing on this left side. You still want to be holding your rib cage up. Deep breaths, you're really breathing into all the way down into that right hip. And when you're ready to exhale, come up, strength. Next inhale, lifting the left arm up overhead, shoulders down, extend out to the right. Opening that left side body and breathing deeply into it. Send that breath all the way to the left hip. Trying to keep your torso as straight as possible as if you're in between two pieces of glass. Just opening up that left side. Go slow on the exhale. See if you can lean to the right a little more. And on the next inhale, come up. Float that arm back down. Take a breath, straighten your spine. Shoulders melting down. Inhale, hinge from the waist to the left. So you're looking over your left thigh and knee. Inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And exhale, round over, bow down to that knee. Bowing the forehead towards the knee is the intention. And just relax into it, breathe. And the next inhale, round up slow. And at the top, raise the hands. Exhale, come down over the right knee. Reaching for the toes. If you're sitting in a chair, you can just put both palms on top of your knee. You're really focusing on your torso being turned this direction and facing that leg and then folding over.
take a couple breaths here. Inhaling, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Exhale at the top. For the next inhale, scoop up overhead from the side, scooping up love and light, good healing earth energy. On the exhale, fold forward. Reach the fingers out wide and rest the palms on the floor. If you're sitting in a chair, you can rest the palms on the top of your knees and just rounding them back forward. Let go, relax, feel that stretch in your back. Using the floor to take the weight of your palms and bring the weight or using your knees if you're sitting, kind of keep your palms there to hold you up. And breathe deep into those hips, opening, expanding. Letting go and then slowly rounding up one vertebrae at a time to a straight spine. Calm up slow. And when you reach the top here, we're going to kind of place our palms behind us so we can lean back a little bit or help hold ourselves up. If, and if you're in your chair, you can just straighten and lean back and rest in the chair and we're going to um, do a belly dancing strengthening move just with the glutes you're just going to um, clench or flex one thigh and glute so if you're doing your right side your hip should kind of be lifting as you flex that glute and then you let it go and it drops um, my toes are yoked, pointing towards the sky. Activate that leg and then engage, lift the hip, relax. And we're just gonna do a couple on the right side of engaging and relaxing that right glute, isolating this right hip and pumping. Toes are flexed upwards, so your whole leg is active on both sides, but you're just flexing the glute on the right side. So when you relax, it drops. And then we'll go on to the left side, relaxing the right, but keeping those toes yoked. We're gonna flex, engage the left glute and thigh, and then relax. Activate, relax. Lifting and dropping that left hip. Waking up that booty. Activate and then release. And really sink down on the release, just really let go. You might feel a little reverb as you let go and sink down. That's great, it's like active, but then the more relaxed, the better. In between. completely. We're going to bring our feet together, bring our knees together in front and shake it out, bending the knees and straightening, alternating, 
bending of the knees and just shaking it out like so. Yoking the toes and pushing through the heels. This is how we warm up for our shimmies. In belly dance, it's actually a lot in the knees and having these loose knees that go back and forth like so. So just shake it out for a good while here and really you're tapping the bottom, the back of your heels kind of on the floor as well. Tapping the back of the legs, waking up those meridian points as you're bending and straightening here just as fast as you can. And relax. Good job, everybody. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Hold that ball of light above your head. You're breathing into, you're holding, and then exhale, round forward. Touch your toes. Forehead to the knees. If you want to scoot your knees up to touch the forehead and hold your head, feel free. Just relax for a couple breaths here. And then rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Inhaling big at the top. Making sure, checking in, exhaling, everything should be relaxed. Spine should feel straight, stacked on top of each vertebrae. We're gonna take our right leg, bending the knee and crossing it over the left. Uh, bringing the sole of the foot right outside that left thigh, knee. And if you're sitting in a chair, just go ahead and cross your knees and interlace your fingers here, just below the knee on the shin. And we're gonna pull with our arms and straighten that spine a little bit more. Elongating the neck. Deep belly breaths into the base of the pelvis. We're gonna place our elbow on the inside of that knee and turn towards the left, bringing that left palm behind the lower back. Exhale, keep that spine nice and straight. Turn the head around as far as you can go. See if you can turn, twist a little bit more at the bottom of your exhale, opening up the neck and the shoulders. And inhaling, coming forward, taking the opposite elbow and placing it on the outside of the knee, bringing the right palm behind the lower back and looking right. Actively push through that elbow and twist. Keep the spine nice and straight and see how far you can look back. Inhaling, coming back to center. Straighten that leg out, shake it out, and we'll bring the left leg up and over. Sole the foot on the outside of the right knee. Hold on to your shin just below that left knee and straighten that spine. Slightly tuck the chin, make sure the spine's nice and straight in the back, up through the crown of the head, expanding deep breaths into the hips. Taking that left arm, placing it on the inside of the knee and twisting to the right. Bring that right palm below, behind the lower back and twist, right? 
Go to your maximum at the bottom of the exhale. Look back a little further. And inhaling, swinging that other arm around to the outside of that knee. Bringing the right palm behind the lower back, twist left. Go to your maximum and on your next inhale, come back forward. Oh, we're actually going to um, get up from here. There's a little trick if you want to um, stand up. We're gonna place both of our palms on the right side here where that left, right in front of the left sole of the foot. And we're just going to bring our weight onto our palms and that spot foot, left foot as we twist up. You kind of can come into a forward fold here from there. If anyone can manage and then we're going to slowly roll up to a standing position. Beautiful. When you get to your standing position, connect through your feet, the soles of the feet. Get some natural light in here. Such a beautiful day. In mountain pose. So feet are just under the hips. Knees are soft. Root through the soles of the feet. Pelvis is in neutral, so just check in. Put your palm on the front here under your belly button and one palm on your lower back. Just check into that neutral pelvis. Stack the spine, one vertebrae on top of each other. We can roll the shoulders up and roll them back into their sockets. Go ahead and open up the palms to the front of the room. That helps open up the shoulders. Beautiful. Feel your feet connected to the earth, through the toes, through the balls of the feet, through the heels of the feet, just flat and connected through the pinky toe raising lifting through the arches that's the only part of your foot that's lifting the rest should be really rooted connected to the earth here for your stability we're going to inhale the arms up leading with the elbows exhale push through the palms extend the arms out wide fingertips facing up and then let's roll the wrists out here just circle the fingers circle the hands and just roll and stretch your wrists my teacher Sakti told me to visualize you're cleaning out the inside of a jar so Take your, your pointer and your middle finger here like you're leading the way with those two fingers as you wipe around the inside of a jar using every finger's active. One finger follows the other kind of, like you can see here. Our little floreas. Inhaling, lifting the arms up overhead, bring the back of the wrist to touch above the head. Opening up the chest, open up under the armpits. Let's scoot our feet in together a little bit more. Bring your feet together. Opening up through the heart, keep your soft knees and your neutral pelvis. And then exhale, float them out down to the sides. 
and down. Blow that exhale through the mouth and we're gonna rest them on our hips here and just bring awareness to your hips. Soft knees. Bring the hips forward, push the hips forward, lengthen the spine, lift the chest up, look up, open the front of the neck. Looking up and back as far as you can. And on the next inhale, bring the hips back to center. Straight spine. And we're going to try our rib cage isolations from standing. So shifting the rib cage forward, bring the shoulder blades together, inhale. Big inhale, exhale, bring it back to neutral. Big inhale, shift to the right, rib cage. Shoulders are still melting away from the ears, nice flat back and bringing back to center, exhale. Inhaling, pushing back, rounding. Even though it feels better, exhale here, push the belly button to the back of the spine and come back to neutral. Take a breath. On the next inhale, shift left with the rib cage. And on the exhale, shift it back to neutral. Now we're gonna round it out in that direction. So come forward, right, back, left. Make a big circle with your rib cage. Just try your best to keep the rest of the body kind of straight. We just want to move our rib cage here mostly. Try to keep those hips rooted as we're circling to the right, opening in the front. As you inhale, exhaling, rounding back. As big as circles as you can. And as you come forward, switch up the direction and smooth it out to the left. Rounding it up. Big circles, noticing how the shoulder blades come together as you come forward and kind of round as you come back. And coming to center, let's bring those circles down into the hips. Now you can move your hips, try to keep your torso still, your shoulders still, just moving the hips. If you need to bend, you bend the knees a little bit as you come forward. Play around with how the knees move the hips. Big circle. Notice how your abs and your torso play around with the hips. And as you come forward, or we'll switch it up to the other direction. Other direction, big circles. And making it a little bit smaller as you come to center. Awesome. Let's inhale, bring the arms out to the side. Pinch the pointer and middle finger like we did before with your thumb, extending the ring and the pinky out. We're gonna pinch out to the side here like we're holding a string. And let's do some figure eights with our hips. So bring the right hip forward and circle it out, push it out to the right. And as you bring it back, the right, the left hip will come forward, circling that out forward to the side and back. When you bring it to the back, the opposite hip is already forward. So then just shift your weight there and smooth it out to the right. And alternate these figure eights. Don't forget to breathe and just make them as big as you can as big of half circles as you can on each side. If you have music playing, you can move to the music 
or just move to the breath. If you're finding this challenging enough, just keep on pushing through. And if you'd like to add a little something, we're gonna add the arms. So keep figure eighting. We're gonna bring the arms down to our bowl where we started in front of the body. If you would like to add this to the figure eights. With our inhale, we lift them. Exhale, we push through the palms, straighten out to the side. Inhale, we lift them up above head. Back of the wrist touching. And then exhale, open the palms up to the sky and float the arms down. Just keep that rhythm of the figure eights going. We'll do that again with the arms. We'll start here in a bowl. Inhaling, lifting slow. When you get about midway, you kind of bring the wrists leading up, but then they push out to the side to give you a little more push there. Inhaling, lifting, leading with the wrists again. Bring them to touch overhead. And then exhale, flip the palms up towards the spine, float the arms down. And one more time, circle, cycle of the arms from the bowl, bringing awareness to the hips. Inhaling up, as you're bleeding with the elbows here, but then midway the wrists come over, come up, and then push out to the side. With all your strength, push out. Inhale, lift gracefully and soft wrist to the backs of each other. As we figure eight with our arms above head, opening the chest, and then exhale, float the arms down. Beautiful, and circle up the wrists. Keep your figure eights going, and let's switch direction with the figure eights if you can. Otherwise, if you're in a good flow, just stay with it. And circle the wrists while you figure eight. Your hands can be out to the side. They can be down, framing the hips. You can raise them above head, circle up here. And just move the arms however you feel inclined. And we're slowly gonna make our way back to center. Slow down the figure eights and bring it back to center. We're gonna do a shimmy here. Uh, bring those knees back and forth again like we did on the floor, pushing through the heels, pushing through the soles of the feet. Vibrate those legs, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Let the booty go. And notice how by moving the knees back and forth as so, your hips automatically follow. And the looser, the better here, shimmy it out. Don't forget to breathe and relax. Awesome limbs. We're gonna do one more big inhale, raising the arms up overhead. Bringing the palms together above the head, hold open and exhale, coming down in front of the third eye with the prayer hands. Take a breath here. And holding your prayer here, you're welcome to do some figure eights or bring the awareness back down to the hips again. Circles or figure eights or shimmy, whatever one was your favorite. And while you're doing that, bring the prayer down to the heart. Deep breaths. Continue that hip movement. If you wanna change it up between the three, we did our circles, hip circles, figure eights, and shimmy. 
and then extending spine out long and straight. Bend the knees slightly and hinge forward at the waist, holding your torso above the ground. Hold, bring your arms out to the side like you're flying airplane. Visualize the earth below you. Hold flat back until you're ready to completely fold over and touch the earth with your fingertips. Pedal out the backs of your legs. Give thanks here to Mother Earth and all the support and bounty that she brings to us. Inhale that beauty and grace and inch through your feet, the compassion, the nurturing, up through the legs as you roll up slowly one vertebrae at a time. We'll take one more big inhale up with the arms, scooping in that good earth energy and breath. Exhale, bring the palms together and float them down in front of the chest. And thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope the weather there is as nice as it is here so everyone can get outside and spend some time with Mother Earth. I'm so glad you guys tuned in. Thank you, Ayla, it was amazing. Oh, so, so good. You. Good, yay. Thank you for, for joining. Um, our classes for this Earth Day weekend through High Frequency Loft, um, there's a bunch of different workshops happening. Please check them out. All the donations go towards keeping this beautiful space open. So, um, I believe there's somewhere to donate, perhaps on Facebook, Amy? The link is in the chat right now, and um, it is on Facebook too. It's on our High Frequency Loft page and the event pages and everywhere you can be able to find it. Awesome, thank you. Well, I highly recommend putting some music on and then with what we did this morning, just letting go and really feeling those figure eights and circular movements that we did and practicing with it if you guys have time. And it's so good to see you all. I hope you have beautiful days. Thank you so much. Enjoy, goddesses.